Thanks for everyone who stayed along. The website is closing now. You put a dude, a big black oiled up man in front of me. Hit the oil rig. We want answers. Now. Oh my God. <laughs>this video was taken from a stream that I did a few nights ago, so if you ever see me live, hop in and say hello. Also, subscribe to this channel. This is where I'm posting all of the stream clips and highlights. There's a bunch of good stuff on there already for you to check out, but yeah, onto the video. Let's get into this. Sh all right, Pokimane is talking about why she's leaving Twitch, and we're gonna get into it, so she starts off by giving me a, uh, is that supposed to be a heart? Yeah, it's supposed to be a heart. Okay. Well, hey, I appreciate it. Double and give it to the next person, though. The podcast where we talk about personal topics and do deep dives on different topics frankly because there is no way to achieve connectivity without a vulnerability uh, bro why is she talking like a fucking fortune teller like a uh, soul reader you want your tarot cards dude it's like if you want to be vulnerable tell me about it it's crazy because she's like yeah she's putting on some 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 voice here hey guys hey guys you guys comfortable? Your secret's safe with me. My secret is that every time I drop a fat poop log into the toilet, I stare at it and I honestly look at it, realizing it's a prettier sight for sore eyes than the Pokimane twitch.tv stream. And then I watch it, I flush it, and it spins around like a roller coaster and it goes right down the drain. And I'm like, that was really more satisfying and more appealing than watching this person. God, I cannot believe we're going to talk about the things that we're gonna talk about. All I think you fully can believe that you're about to talk about these topics. You know what? It would be unbelievable if you started talking about like, like the Jewish tunnels in New York City. That would be unbelievable. I would not believe that that, like, I would be like, oh my God, what the fuck? Is this real? But you're talking about how you're like, you know, leaving Twitch. So very, very believable, actually. Very within the realm of possibilities, okay? And we're saying some things that I mm, haven't really been able to say for the last four-ish years. I have something you haven't been able to say for seven years, okay? Okay? It's the phrase, I produce good content. Can't really say that one. For the last four or five years, streaming platforms have been giving out what we call exclusivity deals, meaning a platform will go to a streamer, typically a pretty well-established streamer, and offer them a minimum guarantee, aka basically a certain amount of money per year to only stream on their platform. <laughs> Dude, are you serious? Does this, does this have to be said? Does she not think her fans know what the word exclusive means? So basically you sign an exclusivity contract with means which means means that you can only be exclusive to one platform, which basically means you can only be there and it's exclusive. You ever seen the shape of a circle? Because you're kind of talking in one. <clears throat> For the last four or five years, these exclusivity contracts have been happening. But what is really in these contracts? Tell why me. did they exist? Tell me. And why are they becoming more and more Ears rare? Are wide or open. frankly, if you didn't already know, wide they're almost open. not a thing anymore. Okay. First, let's break down how these contracts work and oh, most of the platforms that have given ex Anybody know what this person does? We're having all these conversations about this is what's in the contract. You have to read the clauses and the preamble and all this bullshit for in order to make an exclusive contract exclusive and this is not exclusive and we're going to go through the platforms that offer exclusive contract options and this and that and etc. Does any single person in my chat know what she does? What does she do on her streams? She just sits there buffering like a DVD player that has lint inside of it. You put a dude, a big black oiled up man in front of me, okay? And you say, tell me three things Pokimane's done on her stream or the big oiled up black guy is going to violate you. It might be over for me. It actually might be over for me. I, I just, I don't know if there's a way out. I gotta just pray. My The answer there is, is Jesus. I gotta pray. I gotta just put my hands together, pray to the Lord, and just hope that there's just some something happens where I'm safe. Within these contracts, usually you have to stream X amount of hours. And that amount of hours could range from 70 hours Excuse to me. 106. Excuse me, can I go to the bathroom? Oh, I need a hall pass. Okay. Because it, this, this does not feel like school. Turn to page three of Twitch TOS. We have a quiz on this on Friday. As you can see, there is no hate speech allowed. Any and all hate speech will result in termination. Interestingly enough, the amount of hours that you stream does not correlate to the amount of money that you get paid out. Oh my god, you're telling me. Wait, 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 no, no, no. So Pokimane is telling us right now that when you stream, that there's no guarantee that you'll get paid more if you stream for longer. 
This is news. This is news. This is crazy. It's almost like, almost like, okay, there's no wage. The amount of hours that they tell you to stream is correlated to how much you stream. Dude, I, someone, someone get her McDonald's apron ready. Get ready because I want to, when I'm at the drive-thru, I don't want to have this whole yap sesh. It'll be a double quarter pounder with fries and a large Coke. It's not about, you want to hear about Twitch exclusivity? I want a large fries, double quarter pounder with cheese and a Coke, Pokemon. Yes, it's to go. All right, thank you. Just, just give me my freaking fish filet. Get me out, all right? He's probably streaming twice as many hours. That doesn't mean he's getting paid twice as much. Yo, is she just in her bed right now? Just straight up under the covers, bro. Dude, you gotta, you know for a fact though she's rich. I was joking about that McDonald's thing, but holy shit, bro. Point to anything in your room right now. Play a quick game. Point to anything in your room. Pokemon could have t 20 of them right now if she wanted to. It's kind of disgusting, actually. I mean, it literally just shows you if like, I don't know, I, that might sound bad, but like if you literally are Pokemon, like you can be like her, whether that makes me means you're of the female gender or you have an ability to play a certain character for a certain audience then do it by the way not even a stanley it's like a fake stanley you also usually have to run a certain amount of ads per hour and sometimes you have to go to certain company related events dude this is the definition of like why not start a podcast this podcast had no reason to exist i could make a podcast thirty thousand times more interesting than this literally i could be half asleep and high on meth i could literally just sit here and be like Hi guys, so back in 7th grade, I was chased by a pedophile, and he almost got me, which was scary, but luckily he tripped on a, uh, on a, on a, on a, on a sidewalk crack, and he fell on his face, and, uh, you know, a lot of children were safe now, and praise be the Lord, because that pedophile fell, and he will not be getting back up, he was taken, he was detained, and my butt was safe. Hey, Chino, stop being insecure, you're the same thing. Explain that, though, because I don't have, I have a podcast. Like, this is a podcast. I, my point is, Spotify gave Pokimane a deal to put her, uh, podcast on Spotify. That is something that only a very select few people will ever get the opportunity of, of having. And that means that actual talent will not be getting that. Instead, Pokimane will just because she has like more fans, which kind of bothers me. Yeah, you want a good podcast to watch? Watch this past weekend with Theo Vaughn. I want to preface by saying these are great deals. And I am so insanely grateful to have had the opportunity to have not one, but two of these deals. And my deals personally were two year deals. And I feel so lucky also because your contract does not- I'm literally falling asleep right now. I'm sedated. I'm- I just took a melatonin or something. I- I- I'm just- It's school. It's literally school. It's like, you ever just fell asleep on the desk at school and you're just like- like you just, oh, you're just like out, you know? Middle of class, boom, and you're out. You wake up at the end of class, teacher hits you on the shoulder, you fucking fell asleep in my class one more time, you're, you know what I mean? You're not getting paid more or less depending on how many viewers you have, which is really, really nice for peace of mind, to be honest. Anyways, this is all to say the way that these contracts are made is yeah. frankly quite beneficial to the streamer. This is, this is, what, this streamer. is what we're doing. We're, we're, just, we're just fucking up basic words and then laughing at them because it's like cute that we can't say basic words and it's like, we like coming across as inhibited. I think the LARP is like, like I'm watching this and I, li I like Pokemon. Oh my God, I forgot basic words all the time too. It's like, I didn't pass the second grade. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoops. Let me go to the, the, the car gosh. Oh, I, I meant, I meant car wash. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. However, there is a slight downside, which is that I think although these contracts were made in a way that is great for peace of mind and feeling like you have a safety net in a way, as long as you stream a certain amount of hours, they do kind of put you in this headspace of prioritizing hours streamed versus how good the content that you're streaming actually is or putting effort into other platforms or doing other things or venturing outside of simply the sphere of streaming, AKA in some ways it forces you to put all your eggs in a basket. And I have seen with certain streamers, it leads to almost becoming, for lack of a better term, Sometimes it ends up it taking a bit of that magic or excitement out of it or what might have initially made your content really good once you start seeing it as just hours broadcasted instead of what you're doing. Facts. Yeah, your content might change because of that. I feel like there have been instances- well, okay, okay, in I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is, I can't get this out of my mind, right? She keeps talking about content and content and this has become my content and it changes and it morphs and the content is fluid and it can be anything and it's constantly changing. It's a formless motion fucking what do you do you know what just so i can get an idea around this pokemane vod let's just go random what is she doing great game
dying in Valorant. Does she just oh, play? Is this all she does? Is she, is she is she a Valorant player? Is it? I never caught that fucking. I never got the memo on that. Alright, here we go. Where? Um. Dude, yeah. So she's just like sucking on her hand. Okay. I have a headache right now, and it's like. Who watches this shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is garbage. Ooh, electrolytes. I'd be hearing about those. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard of electrolytes, have you? Wow, I'm glad you got the word about electrolytes. Yeah, you know, they've been around for a bit. I'm glad you caught wind. Also, I'm really glad you guys are liking the hair because I've really been liking doing my hair like this so so when she's talking about content on the podcast she's like my content's changing this is what she's talking about like her talking about electrolytes and her haircut how is this hey, person I famous <laughs> just goes on her phone just actually goes on her fucking phone unbelievable what a joke so yeah for me there were times where i'm like oh my god you know i feel not as excited to stream but i'm still forcing myself to to just hit whatever amount of hours and i mean hey i mean we've all got work to do we've all got bills to pay um but unfortunately burnout when it comes to content is a little bit how does this person that you have the audacity to talk about burnout when you sit there Talking about electrolytes and your hair. Unbelievable. Hit the oil rig. Imagine having the fucking audacity to look into a camera and say, how do you manage the burnout as a streamer? Go to an oil rig. Okay. Okay. You talk about electrolytes and your hair. I think when your audience sees that you're not as excited about what you're doing, that makes them a lot less excited too. And they can for sure catch That's, on Okay, you know what? You know what? There you go. Th that was something valuable right there. Notice how the moment when I get fucking crazy hype and stuff, people are like, they're invested. So the moment you start getting hype on, on something as a fucking creator, then your audience cares too. So that's how that goes. So she is true about that. Wait, she's actually a genius because she realizes that if she, wait, because her audience is basically obsessed with her. So if she's talking about like my hair extensions and shit, they're going to be like, they're, that's what they're going to care about. Dude, she's actually 900 IQ. I can't believe it. Like, I like my hair. I like my hair. Her audience will be like, uh, uh me too. When their streams revolve Dude, chill, around man, chill. just how many hours they were streaming that led to them not enjoying it as much ultimately i just wanted to mention that because it might be some interesting perspective for you guys to be honest um the first time that i signed a two-year well, deal with is, twitch i don't feel bad at all when i talk about pokemon pokemon because anytime anyone feels like oh you're going too hard on her look up two words pokemon or three words pokemon network 25 fucking million 25 million dollars okay you want to know how much i make not even anywhere close to that not even even anywhere anywhere close to that okay 25 million dollars to this person who doesn't know what fucking electrolytes are you can't make this shit up so if at any time you're like oh my god this is guys we're going too far i'm not saying it's right you know just to make you know to to harass someone if they're have a lot of money it's content right they're, all her money is made from content and her content she's people's lives i just don't i was so anal about hitting my hours <laughs> I was so anal about what the fuck? She said she was anal. Okay. All right. What the fuck? What, 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 are we, what are we even doing here? Okay. Out hitting my hours. <laughs> I kept a spreadsheet. I logged everything. I was always checking to make sure that, you know, I'm optimizing. It's short for anal retentativeness. Oh, fussy. Anal retentive. Okay. You can't say anal though. That's not a word. Blah, blah, fake blah. humility SMH? What, me? That I'm I'm not, I'm being fake humility? What do you mean? I'm young. I'm 20 years old, okay? I'm a fresh creator, okay? I'm not washed up. All these, the average age of the creators that you watch are like 27 to 35, okay? They're all older than me by a long shot. I'm young and I'm new to this and I'm not perfect. I'm not, I mean, like I, I can probably be under and unentertaining or I take things too far or whatever, but my goal is to not come across perfect. That's never been my goal. My goal has been to come across authentic. You can see my fuck ups. You can see where I, I spaz out too much or whatever. And I want that to be this way. I'm not going to be this fucking Pokemon where I stare at the camera and, and recite some script that's been like fucking, it's like oatmeal. It's flavorless. It's fucking garbage. Okay. I'm trying to look at you and give you something that entertains you. 
I'm here to give you a good time when you watch my shit. That's it, okay? I'm trying to be as real as I can be while being entertaining and not trying to be some fucking palatable oatmeal fucking cereal Cheerios bullshit. I'm trying to literally just make y'all, you know, just entertain, all right? And then at some point I realized, whoa, 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 this is really taking the love of it all out of it. And so I tried to experiment with different ways um, of still being, you know, a little bit more lenient with myself, but still working as hard as I could. And honestly, over the last year, although I have still had an exclusive contract with Twitch, do these people I made just not realize like this whole thing is fake? Like, do they just not know? Do they just see this and like, it's like, wow, this is how like this, this is how this person is, is they just talk. This is, I, I don't want to say like selling your soul because I don't think it's like selling your soul legit. Like you made a deal with the devil, like a blood pact or anything. But like, I think your personality is who you are, right? And if you sell who you are, you sell out, you stop being your authentic self and you have to curate a, this certain plastic image of who you really are in front of a camera in order to maintain like relevance and, and money and an audience. That to me is just like, you haven't like sold your soul spiritually, but it's just like, you've basically become a shell of who you really are. Like you basically have just traded up authenticity for, for money and success, which is not selling your soul, but it's not that much different from it. I mean, let's just be honest, okay? To video about a year ago, just talking about why um, I haven't felt the same way about streaming and that I was going to open myself up to trying yeah, new it, things. Yeah, oh yeah, my God, look at this podcast. Well, because selling, selling anything is to exchange one thing in order for, for money, right? So when you're giving up your, your you know, ability to, to actually be yourself, because I know for a fact this is not how she actually is. It slips out every now and then. But when you, when you can't just be yourself, you've, you've, you've and, and you're getting more money as a result. Over the last year, I've been doing a lot of different things and frankly, missing out on a lot of money that I could be making. That is 100% a choice that I'm making for myself, for my happiness, and for my long-term career. I, I love how she's like, oh, I'm, I'm missing out on money. Dude, when you're worth 25 mil, it's like, you, you haven't missed out on the 25 mil. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's like, it's, that's just not, I mean, I'm, I'm missing out. I'm, I'm taking a big risk. Yeah, okay. You're going to sleep in the same fucking, same beautiful house and take beautiful vacations. And I think you'll be, I think you'll have the same life, basically. I'm trying to figure out how much might be interesting for me to share in regards to that decision making. But all in all, I think you guys get what I'm saying. Putting all of your eggs in one basket it isn't always great especially once you start seeing rose jealous uh, well, that's like what are you trying to prove right now that i'm not happy with the fact that she makes more money than me are you happy that she makes more money than you i really hope you wouldn't say yes because i hate when people be like well you're jealous of this person and it's like this person has like 25 fucking million dollars and it's like you're saying that as if it's something that i shouldn't should it be jealous of it's like well i'm not supposed to want 25 million dollars oh, oh oh got it okay so i'm just gonna sit sit here and be like oh okay no it's great that you have all of those millions and i don't have anything close to that that's cool and it should no, it should stay like that and i don't want any what you should be jealous of people that are far more successful than you so you could you could want that jealousy is, is like that's the desire to want what someone else has let me just talk about why i'm not resigning with twitch and let's just start with something very important right off the bat okay it would be <laughs> i would be remiss not to mention the fact that it's clear to many people twitch as a company is not very profitable and when i say not very profitable. I mean, not profitable at all. And their CEO has been very transparent about this. Even though they're owned by Amazon, they still have a very hard time actually making money off of the platform because it costs so much to run. I know they had a lot of employees, although unfortunately they had a lot of layoffs recently too. All in all, they haven't found a path to profitability. And so four years into doing exclusive deals and spending millions on I'm retaining viewing. content creators, they've decided to pivot to basically not doing any deals at all that are that's honestly what is the best thing you can do right now either fall asleep or legit like start mewing or something this is this is the biggest waste of like my my capacity to hear sounds oh my god i could be listening to a beautiful symphony composed by mozart right now but instead i'm listening to just like the lowest tier yap session i think i've ever heard conjured up by another human being like this microphone is like wanting to jump off your table right now imagine being the microphone made in the factory with the desk of being rambled into by Pokemon, just about some just complete nonsense. What do you do at that point? <laughs> it's unfortunate. I could have 
potentially, I think, re-signed with them exclusively and had some other bonuses, whether that's better sub rates or better ad rates. Sorry to bother, but she's the slowest talker in the world and I'm gonna have to head out. Thanks for a good life. No, you're gonna stay in here and you're gonna be a good fucking viewer and you're not gonna leave just because the fucking going gets hard or whatever. You're gonna stay here like the rest of us and endure the pain and watch the stream, okay? So sit your ass back down and lock in. Frankly, months ago, I'd already personally decided I don't wanna re-sign with Twitch and I don't wanna sign exclusively with any streaming platform, okay? It's time for me. All right, you need to sign exclusively with the McDonald's Fry Cook Association. Here's the order. 10 nuggets, McDouble, no, double quarter powder with cheese, medium fries, large Coke. Memorize that. Exclusively sign with them, please. And frankly, if I were to tell you guys why, I wouldn't even know where to start. And I don't know where to start, but... Crander says, I work at McD's. Dude, get ready for Pokemon to be your coworker. Have fun with that. Like There's 43 more minutes of this shit. It's like when you're in... Oh God, I hate to compare yeah, it to quit. this, but you I can, do sometimes quit, feel like I've been in a long term committed but toxic relationship yeah, can, with not quit. Twitch as a company quit, but no, you, Twitch you streaming yeah, and quit, sometimes like the industry yeah, you as a quit, whole. Though. Yeah, but you could quit. And I feel like it's just time for me could, to explore you quit, new- though. Why did she convince the entire internet that she was Asian for like five years? Did, I, bro, I, I know she like didn't do anything intentional, but like for the longest time, I dead ass thought she was like Asian. And I think she did that like in some way on purpose. I feel like she kind of leaned into it or at least like, am I going crazy? Dude, she's, she's South African and her boyfriend is Asian. So everyone just assumed she was Asian and she hung out with those Saikuno, Valkyrie, Asian like Among Us community. Do you guys remember that like a little Among Us community, the offline, offline TV, that was it. It was like the Asian content creator group. And she literally would blend in there like a, chame like a chameleon. And she'd play these Among Us games with all of these Asian people. And it was just of no suspicion that she wasn't Asian. Not saying that like, you know, if you're with a bunch of Asians and you, you know, are just hanging out with them, it doesn't make you Asian. But like, I thought that was the whole thing. It was like an Asian, like affinity group. And so she just kind of blends in, doesn't really say anything. And she just kind of flies under the radar. And she, I feel like she does her makeup because Look at her without makeup. And I'm not, I, 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 I know if I pull this up, YouTube's gonna think that I'm being mean to her and I'm not being mean to her. I'm just showing a, a stark contrast between her with makeup and without makeup. Not to say that, you know, there's an attractiveness difference or whatever, but if you literally just look at her, the ethnic persuasion that's being displayed is like different. You know, she looks more like uh, Asian in this picture than in some other ones where there's no makeup. And it's very strange. I don't know why she does it. And I know, I know she's aware of it because she hasn't stopped doing the makeup the same way. She's been doing this like this for basically her entire career and it makes you wonder like does she want to pander or, or like give this image of like being this like asian valorant gamer girl because that's a real thing there is like this genre of of of, of like asian women that want to like be on discord and play valorant I, I know you guys know what i'm talking about it there's like a type there and i just don't see the twitch scene that's a whole ass thing. Yeah, dude, I know it's a thing. And people sound, it, it's like weird if you bring it up and you like know what you're talking about, but it's a very real thing. If you know anything about that, weren't you raising one up like a few months ago? We're not going to talk. Well, yes, but. During the pandemic, everybody was at home. So many more people I were guess, watching yeah, live streams. That's true. The valuation for Twitch related things, including these contracts that streamers were getting, like myself, they were becoming a little bit overvalued. And now, honestly, all of these industries have gone down, 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 down since that time. And so the valuations are adjusting a lot. But for me, it's not not just about the money or the valuations. <laughs> Well, actually, I mean, to be fair, you know, this is this is kind of true because she did just say that she wasn't going to, there was money on the table for her. But it's, I, I think it's easy to say that it's not about the money after you've made 25 million. Like at this point, it's like, oh, I can quit. And honestly, it's not about the money. Well, it's like, well, yeah, because you made like a shitload already. So now you can say it's not about the money. Like, oh, I don't have to, you know, keep doing it. It's not about the money after you've made all that money. You know what I mean? I guess, you know, you could say that, but I don't necessarily know if that's the truth. I feel like I saw the scene and the industry grow in the direction that I really wanted it to. Too. And during the pandemic, there were so many people watching streaming and caring about games. There were so many more girls. There was such diversity in the demographic. And I felt so much more seen and heard. And I was like, wow, this is what I... I've always wanted for streaming. This was when Twitch was like, we're making a special category on Twitch where you can see women streamers. It was like women on Twitch. And they slapped her on there, bro. Bro, by the way, the whole women on Twitch thing is so funny because it's like the just chatting section is like, it, I feel like it's more women than men. And it's like ASMR streams. You got like the yoga streams where it's like $5 and I hit a downward dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just like, okay. Okay, I see what we're doing here. Um, But yeah, the women on Twitch thing is, is kind of interesting because it's 
like they want women on Twitch that are like not doing that shit. Like I remember when I went to go on the page there was not any of like the shit that you would normally see. Like the downward dog for five dollars. It was like uh, these very like well imaged people like Pokimane and Valkyrie, etc. Twitch and streaming nowadays, it's really almost nothing like how it was back then. Or frankly, I feel like it has regressed a lot. Asian Bunny got 10 bands, bro. Who's Asian Bunny? Can I look this up or is this going to be a P star? I'm looking this up. Asian Bunny X. Okay. Wow, that is an ins holy f that Instagram. How is that not taken down? Those are some, those are large ones. I'll just, I'll say that. Oh yeah, this is, this is just soft core. This is just soft core. This is basically just, yeah. That's great. I'm glad that she can oil up on camera and basically make more than my entire fucking family. And Twitch does nothing but pat her on the back and send her the racks, bro. And somehow it's, it's more respectable than literally be like being like an actual porn star. That's great. I'm going to say something that might get me in some trouble, but I'm going to say it anyways, because it's how I feel. So, or at least this is my personal perspective and my... She will say this before saying something that will not get her in any trouble at all. I'm going to say something I probably shouldn't might get me in some trouble. And it's just like, oh. I love gay people. You know what I mean? It's just like some fucking totally non controversial So like is it just me? Or yeah, do you guys also feel like it has regressed a lot? And especially with the rise of so much manosphere, red pill, bullshit. <laughs> oh my fucking god. No, you can't be serious. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. Are you actually saying that streaming culture has reversed because of red pill content? Dude, because Sneeko streams on Rumble and Fresh and Fit stream on Rumble and have a fraction of the size of an audience as you do. Um, is it just me or is it gone back? It's literally, I think it's just you. And I think honestly, here's the, this is so fucking retarded because I'll explain to you what she's describing and how her fucking mentality causes this, okay? There's Twitch being the hyper specific safe space that it is. There's no dissenting opinion. Opinions. You can't be certain political views on there, whatever. You can't do this, you can't do that, whatever. And so all the people that want to say stuff that's TOS, they have to go to other platforms where they can do whatever they want. And the people that go onto those platforms, their audience becomes more extreme, okay? And it creates an echo chamber where they're just, they're saying worse and worse things every single time in order to, to, to talk to their audience because they were booted from the mainstream platforms. So now they're like, they, they fell down. They fell down a flight of stairs and they have to scream louder so the person at the top can hear them. Okay, and she is complaining like well, why is all the red pill content rising? It's because you tried to shut them the f up if people just like let these people just be on Twitch or YouTube or these mainstream platforms like it's like Sneeko whatever I swear they would not be nearly as crazy saying the shit they're saying now Sneeko's chat It literally just says like W Hitler half the time his chat would not be saying W Hitler if it was on YouTube And that's just a fact I feel like that stuff has flourished within the male dominated live streaming sphere of things And I mean I can't be surprised right it's the online demographic that skews male the most. So of course, Manosphere stuff would kind of perf quote unquote perform better there. And you guys already know who and what I'm talking about. Okay, don't make me get into the details. But it was just really disappointing to see this community and industry that I have so much love for relish almost in this shit. Oh my God, it's so unfortunate that Fresh and Fit and Sneeko are getting viewers on their stream. Like I, why are we doing this whole thing where it's like, oh my God, the oh my, I'm, I'm, this is affecting my job, bro. Literally in, in like 2020, there was like so much bread tube content on YouTube, right? And from from like 2020 until 2022 it was like super super fucking bread tube left wing right and then 2022 is like tate rise and since then it's gotten better and it's like you have people like me who aren't like super like explicitly right wing or anything like that and the content is just like common sense sort of shit that are now like finally getting you know i guess a little bit better more recognized right she literally says like oh well, well, these people are blowing up and so that affects my my wanting to stream what imagine me seeing hassan blow the fuck up and that's like oh i don't want to do content so pathetic to exist in an industry and community and watch that shit happen and act like it's no big deal and and to see it be normalized ha, dude it is the fucking internet <laughs> oh my god why is she acting like these people who stream just stormed the beaches of normandy why is she acting like we just experienced like they've hit the second tower no, they didn't. They said there's two genders. That's what they said. Bigotry and shit spewing and just so much stuff that I frankly, frankly, like, I just don't agree with it. All right, it's bigotry. All right, what's, what's bigotry, Pokemon? Tell, tell me what's bigotry. What kind of bigotry do you experience, Pokemon? I, I'd love to hear the, the bigotry. Tell me about that. Please, please tell me about that. And, and to see it be normalized, the kind of bigotry and shit spewing and just so much stuff that I frankly, frankly, like, I just don't agree with it. And I know you're going to say, okay, well, don't just sit there, you know, speak against it. Bruh. What the f*** is this? What, what is this 
podcast. I see offensive content, and it's my duty to speak up against it, but I, I don't want to, and I'm quitting. Dude, go get an MRI now. This is not even main character syndrome. This is like, like I wrote the main character, and it just the, per the main character that I wrote was just so happens to be me. This is like writing a book where you're the fucking main character. It's unbelievable. Why are you going to speak against someone with dozens of thousands of followers and stands that are going to go against you and shit down your throat? Like, it's almost like there's no point. What? 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 Why would you speak up against another creator who has fans? Because you want to? What? What, what the fuck? What do you think is going to happen? If you say Sneeko had an L take, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to wake up and there's going to be like a, like an explosive device at your doorstep. You will just get dislikes on YouTube. Expressing your opinion to people that you're never going to change anyways, you know? And frankly, a lot of them are prepubescent little boys that just need to go through puberty and then they'll figure it out. You know, huh. like, I don't want that demographic. I don't want to take responsibility for them, but it's also- This is so retarded. She's basically saying like bad takes that people are hearing or, or whatever. I don't even promise she speaks so broadly and I know she does it on purpose. I'm not saying she has to be specific, but like, let's just say Anna Ross tweets, there's only two genders. People see that and they like it. And then she's like, oh, they'll grow out of it. What do you mean they'll grow out of it? That's how it is. And that's how it always will be. Anyways, all in all, this is just to say there are a lot of things within this community and industry that I don't agree with. And as someone who has been fortunate enough to grow my personal follower, followership? <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Following. My personal communities on many, many different platforms. I find myself enjoying my time nowadays a lot more on these other platforms than on Twitch. I still love Twitch so much. Like I have so much love for, oh, I love gaming. I'm going to be gaming until I'm literally 80 in a rocking chair playing TFT on my phone. Like I will forever have so much love for gaming. But yeah, Twitch and streaming and the surrounding communities around that, that is to me not the sole representation of gaming. And that becomes very clear once you go to maybe YouTube and see all of these amazing Let's Plays or other live streamers, or you go to TikTok and you see so much cute, cozy gaming content or other kinds of gaming content. Like there's, it seems like there's this plethora of people who have similar interests as me and they're just not all on Twitch. And it sucks to feel like, oh, I cannot reach these people that I would love to have in my community if I remain on Twitch. Part of me really wanted to structure this whole thing. Did anyone, that was, what the f, that, this, you know, that, that was insane. So she goes, I don't like the ideas being spread by popular people in the community, but like, I want to spread to other platforms to reach into the community. Didn't you just say the community was 12 year old boys? <laughs> You're lost. You're confused. Lock in. Can you believe Spotify paid her for this? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I think another thing that I didn't love about this industry is I felt like I got to the point where I started feeling like, especially- This is her complaining about the fucking industry. I can't believe- She's getting paid by Spotify to complain about Twitch, the fucking industry. It's crazy. Bro, I complain about Twitch, not made a dime off Twitch in my entire life. I probably complain about YouTube once every year, maybe? Maybe? And every time I do it, I preface it by like sucking YouTube's and being like, Oh, thank you for everything, and I can make money, and and this and that. You are the industry. What are you talking about? Like, I'm sorry. Is that like? I mean, I don't, I don't want to go too into it, but like, maybe I'm. I could be wrong. I'm, I know statistically the biggest streamers are male. I feel like there's really successful female streamers too. Like plenty of them. I can name at least like ten. I I, I also don't understand. Like like what's with this whole like demonizing? Like it's it's m mostly male viewers, but it's like aren't that also your viewers though? Like what what's the beef here? I love analytics. I love data. I love thinking like that. You know, I studied engineering. That's just how my brain works. And sometimes I wish it didn't and I wish it would shut the up, but that's how it works. But maybe that's interesting for you guys to hear because I have a typically more mm, business-minded mindset than most. Uh, but yeah, I started feeling like one of the only ways to- I I'm sorry. I I one thing that bothers me, and I know I have my moments, but I just really think people who can't speak should not be in, a, in the entertainment industry at all. And I know I like I have like little stutters and shit like that, but I, every now and then, like I, 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 I swear to God, she says a sentence that is like the word equivalent of just zoning out. It's like, what? Like what? Like, let's just run the back. But that's how it works. But maybe that's interesting for you guys to hear because I have a typically more mm, business minded mindset. <laughs> It's like an AI that's meant to not make sense. I just don't understand. Like, like you have a fucking podcast. I, I just, it blows my gourd. One of the only ways to be successful in this industry or become more successful in this industry is to appeal to more guys. That doesn't have to be a bad thing. I love men. Okay, there are a lot of great men, but we both know some of the guys in this industry, not so great. <laughs> What, did we just take a trip to Italy? What's with the... Uh, yeah, so you know, uh, you know how it goes. Some of the guys. And, and, uh, what the fuck? 
If you're a girly pop and you're on Twitch, you know me and I love you. <laughs> some of the guys in the industry, you know, this is some tough guys. I'm not gonna grow by maybe doing some of the things that I want to do. Mm -hmm. I can only grow by appealing perhaps more to the guys left in the industry. And I don't really want to do that because some of them I don't really agree with. Please don't assume anything by Facts. what I'm saying aside from what I'm saying. Oh God. But don't assume that what you think I'm saying is what I'm actually saying. Am I saying what I mean to say? What are you saying? Incoherent. Incoherent. <laughs> Am I saying what I mean to say? Whatever. So. <laughs> I feel like I just watched a mom push her children's stroller off of a fucking cliff. Like that's how, that's how hard I could not believe my eyes and ears. That, that. Maybe a better way to say this is that I felt like I hit my saturation point on Twitch. Like if you're on Twitch or in the streaming Twitch bubble, you know me. And if you f with me, you are you probably follow me or watch my stuff, which I appreciate so much and I f with you too. And if you don't, you probably hate my guts and don't wipe your ass. <laughs> That's, I'm f***ing, I can't. I'm done. I am done. I don't want to listen to this anymore. I don't want to think about this anymore. I don't want to do anything that would bring me close to this content at all. Ever, dude, I, 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 I cannot fucking believe this. I cannot believe she got, bro. She got paid by Spotify to do a show on Spotify where she can't speak the English language properly, where she complains about the industry that she's in, where she made twenty five million fucking dollars, and how it's not fun for her anymore because people with different viewpoints have a platform, and that's making her want to stop. Oh my God, I, 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 I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. You could tell me that like, like, like Frankenstein is alive and well right now, walking around, molesting children. And I'd be like, okay, don't, don't, I don't really believe you. But then if you told me everything that I just laid out about, about Pokemon in this situation, I'd be like, what the f are you, are you serious? This is like a real thing. Like she did that. I'd be like, wow. Okay. Well, what the f me, I guess. B Bizzard the wizard with the $5. I've been watching this for 15 minutes. How can someone watch this for hours? I don't know, but thank you for the $5. I can't, I, I can't stop now I, I can't i'm already in too deep i know i said i have to stop i just can't i mean maybe maybe i hate myself maybe that's what we've gotten from this all and if you don't you probably hate my guts and don't wipe your ass <laughs> 25 million dollars 25 million dollars to this person just zero talent zero talent whatsoever oh my god um yeah so if you don't if you don't f with her apparently you don't wipe your you don't wipe your ass okay oh, okay it's funny because because like oh, pretty butt spotify I'm, I'm sure that they love that one. Oh my god wait she told the poopy butt po crusty poopy butt joke oh we're renewing her contract for sure someone clipped that that was great that was great from pokemon we need more talent like that on the spotify podcasting academy great stuff there really really stellar shit. so i want to preface with my gratitude especially the financial security that those contracts brought me especially the status um Insane and the ways that it has helped my career those are all great 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 however there have been some downsides to becoming the quote-unquote twitch girl which this exclusivity contract has kind of made me. So yes, it has helped me in a lot of ways, but you know, being Dude. the Twitch girl or being the face of Twitch, which I don't feel I am, but some people might describe me as, you I would are. say, you know, are, are, by definition, you're the face of that. Twitch, though. Hold on, look at this. They literally put you on the on the app. Look at this. This is this is Twitch. Look up Twitch on the App Store. This is what you get. King, this is the, this is the, what it means to be the face of Twitch when you are on the face of Twitch. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! There are a lot of Twitch-related things that I just don't agree with. One, it was sometimes hard to speak out against these things. But two, I felt like because some people hated Twitch, they hated me. What? I represented Twitch, but me and Twitch, hello, were two separate things. <laughs> wow, did I feel this like I unserious. got a lot of hate? And hey, this is not to say, oh my God, all the hate that I get is undeserved, no. I say some shit and people don't like the shit. That just is what it is. But I did very much feel like the tone that people came at me with, the energy that people came at me with, and the way that people viewed me, a lot of that was because I was dubbed the Twitch girl and because of my affiliation. Uh, this is this is just like no accountability. And I'm so sorry we're breaking up now. I'm gonna still be on sometimes though. 
but you know. <laughs> but yes, me and Twitch, we, we are not the same thing, okay? They are a whole ass corporation. Nobody thinks that you work for Twitch. When, when Twitch fucks up, people get mad at Twitch. They don't get mad at Pokemon. That's like never taken place, okay? Twitch as a company is really messy. <laughs> Y'all are messy, and it's okay. I'm a little messy too, but Twitch is really, really, really oh messy. <laughs> you guys saw that stuff a couple or a few weeks ago where, like, they made nudity not against terms of service, or maybe art. Okay, I'm glad she has common sense. nudity wasn't against the terms of this, service. This was stupid. And I'm not saying that that was a good or bad decision. I don't even know enough. She's like, my contract's up. I can finally criticize Twitch, but I'm not gonna say they made a bad decision. I would. I, I just can't do it. What the f dude? Of the details to have an opinion. I don't know enough of the details to have an opinion. You, 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 just, you just described the policy. They be tweeting shit and then deleting it and then correcting and then retweeting and then they make a change and then take it back dude, and then do a backflip and then do a I mean, I'm glad she's realizing. Copy. How are you guys going through these processes? Is there not an infrastructure? And I get it. You used to be. Okay, she's actually maybe right. Like a smaller company. But you've been a corporation for a minute. You and go. now you're owned by Amazon. And again, as someone who is very, very closely affiliated with Twitch, I feel like although Amazon funds Twitch, sometimes I wish that they were doing a little bit more for the general infrastructure of Twitch, as well as Twitch's PR. Um, like the way that Twitch comports itself and is seen publicly and- This is the first time she's actually making sense. Well, yeah, because she's dogging on Twitch, which is super easy to do. It's like, can you add two? plus two and get an answer there if you can if you can denote the sum of two plus two then you can understand why twitch is fucked up it's not, it's not a secret and twitch partners and bans people by a process that has many 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 errors yeah and like the like the jadeon one right like the one where you claim that you were being harassed by jadeon and so he was banned you took a black man's source of income and you had the audacity to complain about fucking diversity she's like oh 2020 was great it was so diverse i played among us with with all the people who thought I was Asian, and it was so diverse, but I'm gonna fuck the black man over. I'm gonna tell Twitch he was mean and aggressive. By the way, a little stereotyping, you know, mixed in there, a little casual stereotyping. But yeah, we're gonna tell we're gonna tell Twitch that I was being harassed and abused by a black man. Jadeon did nothing wrong. He's L ratio. Yeah, we're gonna get him banned. No, no more Twitch income because it's not. Remember, it's not about the money. She doesn't care. It's not about the money for her or Jadeon. It's not about his money either. She doesn't care. And you have people with respectfully viewership that does not mean the guidelines required for partnership getting partnered without doing anything i i hate this little drama baiting thing she does where she's like i shouldn't talk about this but what if maybe i will got too silly okay didn't she sh dog on xqc for what she's doing right now yeah precisely thank you blue mist for the two dollars i mean and this is you know my whole chat gets it which is the funniest part and maybe it's because you've heard me explain it and you know you've seen the videos and you understand this and you have it all in perspective but i don't think it takes even one of my viewers or anyone who's like like even that smart to see the fucking inconsistencies and the fact that this person is so rich and famous doing all this shit. It does not take an astronomer or a rocket scientist or a JavaScript code writer to, to use your own eyes and ears and see the inconsistencies with this person. I'm sure a lot of people want me to talk a little bit more about this, so let's Twitch bans. I know someone stupid out there is gonna be like, one time you showed a wee wee accidentally on stream. Why didn't you get banned? But someone else showed a wee wee and they got banned. Probably because it's their 20th time showing a wee wee on stream me when i invent arguments what we're all saying twitch should ban people less not ban people more I, bro is anyone gonna in good faith look at pokimane accidentally clicking a hub link and be like oh yeah she needs to be banned for that that's just fucking schizo okay no no one would say oh pokimane accidentally clicked a link to a porn video and she should be banned no one would say that okay because we have i show meat okay speed should not have been banned it was an accident legit an accident you're having a schizophrenic meltdown and Spotify's paying you for it. And I know some of you guys are going to ask, oh my God, the Gideon ban, la 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 la. <laughs> we want answers. 
No. Listen, Jidian hate rated. Is that even how you say his? Wait, hold on, bro. She literally hung out with this person in in person, and she doesn't know how to say his fucking name. And I know some of you guys are gonna ask, "Oh my God, the Jidian ban!" La 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 la. That's so. Wait, that's actually crazy as fuck. Dude, she invited him over to his house to make up and have Chick Fil A, and now she's saying like, "Oh, what? What's that guy's name? Who the fuck is? What's his? What's that one dude's name? Does anyone know what that guy's name is?" I don't know. He hate rated me like two. Two years ago, I don't even know when. And he got banned for that hate raid. And if he, I will say though, he apologized. Me and him cleared the air. We have no beef. We've even texted recently. Like all is well between us. Okay, but some people are gonna say, um, okay, for starters, for those who are saying, you got him banned. He did the thing. Fucking unbelievable. You, you can't, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, she's delusional. She's delusional, bro. And who honestly can sit here in good conscience and, and believe that she didn't get Judeon banned? Like, because she didn't literally apply for a job at the Twitch moderation policy team and click the ban button. No one can, like, can denote that she did actually, what was the reason that he was banned. For these huge creators, I I think these decisions are made on a higher executive level. Like they have a different- Okay, so yes, th there's a boss to the company. There's people that work for the boss. I don't know, bro. Bro, she's being like, she's literally saying, in a company, there's people who have power and some people who have less power and the people with power tell the people with less power what to do and the people with less power have to answer the people with more power and the people with more power make the decision. I, I, dude, no wonder her fucking fan base bought these re repackaged snacks. Dude, there's just, this all makes sense now. This all makes sense. They listen to this, they think it's intelligent, they buy the cookies, they think it's original, they watch the streams, they think it's entertaining, it's all clicking. It's all clicking. Anything that this woman does, they find a way to like make it something that it isn't. This is not informative. The snacks are not original or healthy for you, okay? The, the streams are not entertaining. They just aren't. I'm sorry. This is just how this works, bro. And it's all making sense. It's just sad. Which for me, I care a lot more about like quality of viewership, diversity of viewership, um, safety for content creators. <laughs> But girl, it's 2024. We still got so many of these damn problems. Like when I tell you- Like what? Are... What? Be specific. What is the problems? Tell me. Tell us. We need to know. Viewers on Twitch who harass and stalk streamers to no end who have made- Okay, that, that probably is true to be fair. That is true. There is there is stalking. I know that is true. Like if you're if you're a girl and you do, and you do streaming, yeah, you will get. That is true. I agree. I agree. Why would you be my platform of choice if I got options? I got options. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, you- don't ever rap again. I'm always gonna be a part of this damn here community and I will always be striving for and encouraging the things that I believe in. And I'm always have a big ass mouth. A blah, 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 blah. That's why I got a podcast. <laughs> I'm going in. How are you real? How? Dude, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm astounded that Spotify lent this person even a fraction of a penny to, to talk on their platform. I could only do like maybe a five minute stream before my Twitch streams, but aside from that, I was contractually and legally not allowed to do that. <laughs> I, I actually feel like I, I'm about to like grow like gray hairs or something. Like I just, I, it feels like I've been here for so much longer than 38 minutes. We're in like a time modification zone or something. Like I'm like jet lagged. There was something absolutely bad crazy that him that that happened with a twitch employee that i haven't fully publicized yet um uh, but now that my contract is over okay wait, considering I, doing that i want to hear oh, in oh. another soon podcast episode the blue balling bro she she's a professional why dude it's like she'll be like well, this this something crazy happened but that's for the next episode dude it's like edging it's it's content edging bro a lot of twitch related stuff is corny okay it's corny and it's horny like those are two of the primary adjectives I would use to describe a lot of the sh** that I don't agree with that I see in this industry. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is- dude, you know what this is? Bullying. Bullying. Knock, knock it, it off. off. Racism. Racism. Knock, knock it, it off. off. Bigotry. Knock, knock it, it off. off. Crime. Knock, knock it off. off. Robbing banks. Knock it off. Not saying thanks. Knock it off. Driving tanks. Don't do that. War is bad. Bigotry. Knock it off. Bigotry. Knock, knock it, off. it off. Sexism. Knock, knock it, off. it off. Oh yeah. And, it's horny. <laughs> oh, yeah. and listen, there's nothing wrong with being horny. We're all human beings. Yeah. But some of the ways that people go about it. <laughs> 
really makes me want to question things. And some of the ways people project this horniness onto you, me no gusta, okay? Oh my Just God. Oh my God. No me gusta. Eh, pero, uh, <laughs> solamente hablo un poco español, eh, pero no, no, no comprendo. <laughs> sí, pero no, no hablo más. <laughs> what the f are you? Nah, this is like white girls get back from Mexico. <laughs> Hola. Oh, oh my God, I meant hello. I it's think that's all. At least for today, I could really say Are about you done? Twitch. You guys kind of oh. get my job feelings. Not as much as there was during the pandemic, but it's okay. Shut up! Please! And I am really curious how the live streaming algorithm works and if it does really showcase you to new audiences or not. It, I, it's so, like, for the record, diversity does not mean diversity. It does not mean, like, like, different types of people. It literally just means, like... Women and minorities, that's all it means. That's like, she wants streamers that are women and minorities to like be, but just they want success for them specifically because of those immutable traits. I I, I don't like care if they're doing well and I, I hope everyone does well if they're f***ing entertaining and stuff, but to want someone to specifically succeed because of that is so retarded to me. Yes, like YouTube in and of no, itself right. will never be for live streamers yeah. because they are a VOD first platform. They prioritize their videos. Can they have good live streaming capabilities and tools? Yes, but those tools and capabilities and that community will never be like it is on Twitch because Twitch prioritizes live streaming. That's all it does. That's so dumb. I love my YouTube live chat. I literally, I, bro, I mean, I get that <clears throat> she's like out of touch, but like, bro, I, I I know the names in here, okay? I know I know the regulars. I know the people that come to every stream. I recognize you guys. I really do. I, I know that. I, my chat, my chat fucking rocks. And I have a community. <clears throat> and I know, I guess that's because of like from the videos, obviously. You, you, there's, there is, there is a community on YouTube live streaming, I feel like. Like Tom, Tom, Turkey Tom does live streams a lot. A video first YouTuber will always be bigger than a live stream YouTuber. No, Same. that, no, no, that, no, that, that's just wrong. That's just factually incorrect. Like look at iShow speed. I'll show you. I'll, I'll prove it to you right now. Okay, million, 1.3, 1.2, 1.4, 1.2, 2.3. I and mean, we go to the videos, 2.6. I guess, it, okay, I guess it's like the same basically. But the point that it's like gonna be a lot different is, is ridiculous. So like, let, let's look at videos that are actually videos. We got this one, 2.1 million, 2.6 million, 4.1 million, 3 million, 2 million. So really there isn't this major discrepancy that she's describing. <gasps> I've been talking for an hour? How? Oh my God, when did this happen? Okay, okay, I should speed run. Oh my God, I thought this was gonna be a 30 minute video. God, can I yap? It's almost impressive. <laughs> I don't think a single person was impressed by what we just witnessed. I don't think one individual on this planet watched what we just witnessed and would describe their feeling afterward as impressed. I'd say depressed actually. Gambling should be allowed on Twitch because I personally felt like it should not be allowed on Twitch because I, I just I gotta I just need a fucking break. Just give me one sec, bro. This is so fun. I love doing this, bro. I really love, dude. How uh, twenty five? I just can't. Twenty five million. Twenty five million dollars. Twenty five million dollars. Things the most important thing right now is for me to consistent because I care about that and I feel like I love you guys and too. Keep talking about things I enjoy talking about and I feel strongly about. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you for okay. Much. All right. We made it. We made it. We did it. Show. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, we we made it.